out here at Bay Pines again. Probably one of the worst VA facilities as far as corruption, retaliation, whistleblower targeting. Just recently they had a couple of uh, news articles in the on the TV about patients out here getting misdiagnosed. They were saying that they've been treated for years and years out here for arthritis and then when they went to a civilian hospital when the pain got too bad and the opioids they were throwing at them weren't doing the job anymore. Uh, they went to civilian hospital and were diagnosed with stage 4 cancer that had metastasized and spread throughout their body. They did not have uh, arthritis. They had cancer. And the Bay Pines signed these guys' death warrant, death certificate. Uh, the sign you're looking at here is... One of the reasons I think that whistleblowers out here don't get adequate or even competent representation or defense. The union vice or the union president posted this on Facebook and that's her quote fucking white privilege. Now does that sound like somebody that can run a union impartial and protect everybody and all employees? It doesn't sound like it to me. And there are just glaring uh, examples of the union failing employee after employee. How do I wish, I really do, I really do wish that President Trump would hear about this facility because I know in my heart he would take action. This is Assistant Police Chief Manuel Morales Arroyo and these aren't my allegations these are backed up by federal court documents he was involved in one lawsuit that named sexual harassment retaliation uh, hostile work environment coercion uh, you name it and that one cost the taxpayers 1.3 million dollars and then he had this one repeated sexual harassment cost the VA actually taxpayers three hundred thousand dollars now this was back in 2012 2011 2012 yet he still has his job now the the female that he was harassing repeatedly uh, was a female Bay Pines police officer. She went to the administration and got absolutely no help. So she wound up feeling like she had no other option but to file the lawsuit and move to South Dakota to get away from him. Her moving away put the strain on the marriage of her husband, which was also a Bay Pines police officer and they had two children together. He wound up committing suicide by hanging himself. 37 year old Air Force veteran. His widow 
his mom and his sister all absolutely believe that his suicide was because of the harassment this guy had done and that they didn't do anything about it. Human resources is used as a weapon at Bay Pines. I've experienced it and I know a boatload of people that have also. And this is a true statement. Bay Pines Police target whistleblowers. It is documented, well documented, in those lawsuits. The government's not going to pay out $1.3 million if there's no wrongdoing. And when heroes like this come to a VA facility looking for help and or employment, they don't need to be subjected to wait times, harassment, disrespect, because they make up these numbers. It's actually over 8,000 a year that commit suicide. And one of those, from a few years back, used to be a police officer out here that's wife had to undergo constant harassment by him. What could be done? Well, that's simple. Well, it starts simple. It's a complex problem. But it starts with firing her. She is an absolute disgrace as a director. She allows this stuff to go on. My opinion, she encourages it and turns a blind eye. And all of the problems out here, she has taken no steps to correct. That's director Suzanne Klinker. And she's the director of the C.W. Bill Young VA Medical Center, also known as Bay Pines Healthcare System, in Bay Pines, Florida, close to St. Petersburg. Veterans, this shit has got to stop. 